Why is my plumbing making noises? We use plumbing for drinking, washing, cooking, and flushing the toilets. But sometimes your plumbing can talk to you. Do you know that? I mean, think about it. I know that sounds funny, but plumbing makes noises. And those noises are actually telling you something. Plumbing is one of those things that normally for most people, it's out of sight, it's out of mind, we don't even think about it. And if you're not thinking about it, that's great. That means everything is working just like it should. But when plumbing starts making noises, sometimes that can be scary. Sometimes it should be scary. Those noises are actually telling you something about your plumbing system. So what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about the noises that plumbing makes and what it could mean. Don't get me wrong. It could mean something else, but normally certain sounds lead to certain things. Certain sounds mean certain things. So we're going to cover a few noises today and just kind of talk to you, tell you what they are, what causes them, and maybe even what you might could do to fix it. If your plumbing has made a noise that you finally figured out what it was and it's something other than what we're talking about, please tell us what the noise sounded like or what it was and what turned out to be the problem. So let's start. This is one that happens to me at my house and it bugs my wife. It's a ticking noise. Now what that is when I'm shaving and I'm running hot water at my lavatory, she can hear a ticking noise behind hers. Now she always thinks that it is a drip. It sounds like a drip on the wall. It's just literally a What it is, is thermal expansion in the copper pipes. I'm not sure if it's the, coming through the concrete that does it or going through the wood and the wall, but the thermal expansion of the copper, remember, heat expands, cold contracts. So the thermal expansion of the copper literally makes it make a noise that really sounds like a ticking. I'm not sure if it's the wood ticking, if it's the copper ticking, what it is, but that's a noise that it makes. Guys, it's okay. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong, and it doesn't mean there's a drip on the wall. She has wanted me so many times to cut a hole open in the wall to prove to her that there's nothing leaking. But guys, if it was leaking, there'd be water problems there, and that's something we don't have. So this is a noise you really don't have to worry about. If you hear a ticking noise or a dripping noise in your wall and you're not running hot water, now it's something to think about. Hammering. This is one plumbers try to think about when they're installing the system. Sometimes we've installed hammer arresters, shock arresters, air chambers on top of a T to give the water someplace to go so it doesn't hammer. Normally a hammer or a banging noise is caused by a sudden on and off valve, like a washing machine. Any kind of a solenoid valve where it pops open and it pops closed real quick, it can cause that water flowing through the pipes to stop suddenly and jolt. And what that does is that hammers that water line. A hammer arrestor, shock arrestor, air chamber, anything like that can help that a lot. We install those that are normally required on a lot of commercial jobs. Normally, not a lot on home type jobs, residential work, but it can still be a problem. So you've either got to find out how to install a hammer arrestor, shock arrestor, anything like that, or you've got to get in your walls and secure things to see if that'll help. Sometimes just the plumber securing the pipes right can help eliminate a lot of that. Sometimes it doesn't. Insulating the pipes also, if it's so bad that you do have to open the wall, that can help. My favorite thing, put in a shock arrestor. See if that will help. You can get, get them now that are on your angle stop, and that may help if you can find out what it is that's shutting off so fast that may make that stop. A screeching and a squealing noise. Now, this is one that you don't get very often, but when you do, it normally means there's something wrong. The biggest problem that I've ever seen was a customer thought the noise was in the wall. What they didn't realize was it only happened when they flushed the toilet in the bathroom on the other side. But they heard it loudest in the wall behind because after they got out of the bathroom, they were back by that wall or they didn't even think about the fact that they had just flushed the toilet. A bad fill valve, one that's going bad, the rubbers inside of it, the washers inside of it, whatever it is, they start going bad and they start closing differently. They start working differently. And they can literally make a loud squealing, screaming kind of a noise, and it can be very annoying. I've had plumbers call me that didn't understand what that was. They knew there was a noise, they knew where it was, and guys, this is plumbers that worked for me before. They couldn't figure it out. Soon as I walked in and heard the noise, I knew what it was. Guys, sometimes just changing a fill valve can do that for you. It can solve that problem. So what I would recommend, 
watch one of the other videos we've got about how to rebuild a toilet, how to stop a running toilet guaranteed. Changing out that fill valve can probably eliminate this problem. Now, another place that I've seen this problem occur, at the angle stop. If the washer in there starts getting deteriorated from too much chlorine or anything like that and starts doing weird things and maybe falling apart and start to clog up the line a little bit, if water's trying to rush by it because the fill valve or lavatory faucet or something like that is calling for more water and that old wa rubber washer is clogging it up, making noises there, that can sound really bad too. Guys, these are normally pretty easy fixes. These are things you can probably do yourself. And if you're a plumber, remember these noises because when you hear them, you want to try to get closer to it to try to determine where the problem is. Now, one of the noises that can save you a lot of money is the gurgling noise. If you're taking a shower or running a lavatory and you hear gurgling in your toilet, or maybe you're flushing a toilet and you hear gurgling over in your lavatories, guys, that's telling you there is a blockage in your sewer or in the drain line under your toilet or the lavatory somewhere. There's a blockage, there's a clog, there's something that's causing problems. I highly recommend getting in touch with a plumber or if you're good at it, go run a sewer machine and run it. You've got a blockage in there somewhere that could cause expensive problems later. You may not know it, but your toilet could, like I said, get stuck and, and keep running. And if it's clogged up and it overflows, that water is going somewhere. If you've got gurgling in your plumbing system, that is telling you there's a problem. Clean it out. Fix it before it comes very, very expensive. Like I said earlier, guys, if your plumbing has made noises that I didn't discuss today, and don't get me wrong, there's a lot of them that water heaters make, and I've got a whole video on that. So check that one out if the noises are coming from your water heater. But if you've got plumbing noises that we didn't discuss today, do me a favor, leave me a comment down below and let me know what noise you heard. Again, let me know what caused it. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope these videos, you love them, you love what you're learning from them. If so, please subscribe and share so you can tell somebody about them. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.